Thanks. Mm, Wally, what else? Come on, I mean, I feel like we're missing something. We, we need like a, a zinger. A zinger? Zing. Yeah, a zinger. Uh, How about a theme? You know, people love parties with themes. Well, okay. Now, this is the kickoff for Kathleen's memorial fund, right? Kickoff? Football! Yes, the Chicago Bears. That big guy, uh, uh, Refrigerator Perry. The fridge, yes. Yeah, the fridge. we'll have to bring him up in the freight elevator. How about Walter Payton? We got him. Great. What do you say, Gas? I think you guys are both crazy. I'm not crazy. You're not crazy. We're not crazy. Listen, thank you for doing this. Don't get serious with crazy people, Cass. <laughs> <laughs> words to live by, Wally, and words to leave by. Oh, no, no, no. Mm. You're not going anywhere. We have plans to make. We have eclairs to stuff. Planning stuff without me. I've got to get back to Corey. I heard Max say that you have the day off. Felicia, you know all about planning parties. You've had lots of practice. So? So? so whatever you do will be fine with me. It's about time. Come on. About time for what? Well, you already left a message and said you wanted to see me, but you didn't say what for. Well, to meet Cass. Uh, John Hudson, Cass Winthrop. Now, you two have a lot in common. We do? Yes, you just don't know it yet. But when we're through with you, you're going to be buddies from way back. I think I'd better find out more about this Sam Fowler. Well, don't you think so? I think he's generated a lot of excitement around here. And in Seattle, fired for telling off his boss. Very exciting. Well, maybe he was provoked, Mac. Why are you defending him? I'm not. I'm just saying it could happen. Like what he did to Bravo? Happens? No, telling off his boss, doing this behind my back, that's all the same, all of a piece. Look, Mac, I'm sorry. About what? Um, you know, that Sam did what he did. Well, what I most dislike is word spreading around the office, you know, insubordination. What I don't need right now is a morale problem. Come in. Sorry to interrupt, but it's signature time, Mr. Corbett. All right, Julian. Oh, listen, you get the word from the office grapevine, don't you? Mm-hmm. Well, tell me, what are they saying about Sam Fowler? Oh, well, the women think he's interesting. Kind of cute. Very cute. In fact... Yes, apart from his godlike appearance, what are they saying? That he's very talented and that he's in hot water. Ah, you see? The office grapevine is more accurate than I thought. Victoria. You have to do whatever you think is right. I'm going downstairs to show him the pictures, Uncle Peter. He has a right to know what's going on behind his back. Michael! Michael, wait! I have something to tell you! I can't stand it anymore! Let's see how quietly you can eat it. The difference in extra crunchy Jif is lots of crunch as big as can be. Extra crunchy Jif has more of what they love. More bigger chunks, more peanut taste than any big brass. The crunch more peanutty, the crunchier difference in crunch. Extra crunchy Jif. <gasps> now there's a barbecue potato chip that's missing something. New Pringles Light Barbecue. Know what it's missing? A lot of the fat you get in their regular potato chips. Mm. But you'll never miss it. And it's missing a lot of the salt you get in those chips. Mm. But you'll never miss it. New Pringles Light Barbecue in the silver can. With so much tangy barbecue flavor. You'll never miss what's missing. I don't take just anybody's word about what's best for my baby. But I heard clinical research proved Ultra Pampers was better at keeping skin dry than any thick diaper tested. And since I'm also a pediatric nurse practitioner, I know that one of our association feels that Ultra Pampers is important for maintaining healthy baby skin. So they've put their seal of acceptance right here. Now, I'm not going to tell you what diaper to put on your baby, but as a mother, I'm sure going to put Ultra Pampers on mine. Oh. 
Oh, where's Michael? He left. Business. Oh, well, I guess I'll have to wait. Victoria, what is it that you wanted to tell him? Uh, nothing. It wasn't important. No, you said you couldn't stand it Well, anymore. I just said that. I, I didn't mean anything by it. Are you sure? Uh, positive. Honey, you just seem so nervous. I'm not. Look, Victoria, I know you're upset with me, but I have no idea what it's about. Please, don't shut me out. I love you. Probably more than you'll ever know. We all love Vicky. Peter, do you mind? Shouldn't someone get the door? I'll get it. I'll get it. I was trying to have a private conversation with my daughter. Would well, you both please back off just a little bit? Come on, Oh, uh, Miss Falcon. Uh, Miss Falcon, this is uh, Mrs. Hudson. This is Miss mm. Falcon. Yes, yes. Jane, uh, hello. Is, isn't Michael at the office? No, he isn't. Uh, I hope I'm not interrupting anything, Mrs. Hudson. No, no, it's just fine. Uh, 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 hello, Mr. Love. Miss Love. Uh, Mrs. Hudson, I feel somewhat awkward just showing up like this without any warning. I was going to call first, but then I had some banking business to do for Mr. Hudson, and since I have to pass your house on the way to the bank from the office, I thought, well, it would make a lot of sense if I just came by, gave you the message face-to-face, -face, instead of calling you. Miss Falkland, I don't think we quite caught all that. Could you repeat that? Oh, of course. I feel somewhat awkward just coming Jane, in like this. Jane, Jane, it's just fine. Um, I understood what you had to say. You have a message to give me, right? Yes. Um, Mr. Hudson said that he would uh, like... Why don't we go into the study? Um, it's a lot more quiet in there. Excuse us. Oh, certainly. Yes, sir. Where did Hudson find her? What? Victoria. Vicky. You're very brave. And why is this so hard? Because what you're doing takes tremendous strength. Uncle Peter, I don't know if I have it. Oh, but you do. You have more strength than anybody knows. You really are a love. Well, you still haven't told me why I'm here. Well, we were getting to that. Are you sure we are taking your time about it? <laughs> no, you and I are going to end up being old buddies by the time they get around to tell us. All right. John, you are about to be part of a very, very important effort. Oh, I am. Yeah, and buddy, you're going to love it. Right. Now, you see, a considerable amount of money has been donated to start up the memorial fund for Kathleen McKinnon Winthrop. A whole bundle. Right. Now, we, of course, need uh, some of that yeah, money. Yeah, we've got to start up the organization. Right. We have to rent space, typewriters, phones, all of that. But the other part of it, we want to donate to charitable organizations. But only worthwhile ones. Yeah, and we have to do it very soon because we want to make our first announcement at the end of the week. Yeah, we're having this big party, black tie. Right, champagne, caviar, string orchestra. Good-looking broads. <laughs> Sounds great, Wally. Uh, what, what has any of this got to do with me? Well, the war. Uh... You know, Vietnam, specifically the veterans. What? Look, uh, this will help explain it. This is our press release. Read this over. If, if there's any suggestions you'd like to make, that would be great. We'll, we'll be happy to do some rewriting. No, that, that uh, looks fine. Great. So then you'll do it. No, Felicia, I won't do it. What, I'm, what do you mean you won't do it? God, I'm sorry, I just... No, I take that back. I'm not sorry. <laughs> I, 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 I don't get it, John. What are you talking about? You want me to be some kind of a spokesman, right? Yes. Uh, mm. What's wrong with that? Nothing, except that you've got the wrong guy. Nobody wants the Vietnam veterans to get the recognition they deserve any more than I do. They're going to have to do it without me as their spokesperson. So you, you're saying you're not going to help us? I, I assume that this is legitimate not just another scam to rip off the grunts again? You know, that's a very unfair thing for you to say. You're way off base on this one, buddy. Well, maybe so. But I've seen it before. There's a lot of people out there with real positive insight into all this stuff. But it always boils down to the same thing. Somebody getting rich off of a... off of the horror that all those guys went through. Pity the poor Vietnam vets. You know, you couldn't be more wrong. Well, if I am, I apologize. I happen to be a little bit cynical. <laughs> I won't be your poster boy. You hold it right there, John. If you try and get on that elevator, you're going to be more than just a little cynical. 
You're going to be battered and bruised. What are you looking at? The Sam Fowler pages in Bravo. Well, I can see that. I mean, you've been studying them for five minutes, but what are you looking well, at? Well, it's so different, but that's not necessarily bad, is well, it? Well, from here, it looks pretty good. You know what my problem is? I desperately need a Sam Fowler or somebody with his talents. Yes, I know you do. I mean, real talent is usually hired immediately or stolen away with more money, but I should not have acted so fast. Well, I don't know about that, Medic. I mean, looking at this looks good. It's innovative, distinct. Well, we are distinctly going to lose a ton of money on it. You should have heard the calls that have been coming in from the clients he advertises. Are you out of your mind? Bravo looked fine as it was. One guy even threatened if we keep this up to pull out altogether. Well, let him threaten. Rachel, no advertisers, no magazine. Yes, Mac, I have grasped that concept. But what advertiser is going to pull out of a magazine that's got circulation numbers the way we do? We do today. What about tomorrow? Come in. If this is a bad time... No, I'll... what is it, Mitch? I just wanted to make sure we were squared away on tomorrow's assignment, but I'll come back. No, wait. I'm glad to see you. Come in. I want you to look at something. You have an artist's eye. What do you think of it? What is it? Well, do you notice anything? The format, uh, it's changed. Yeah, for 10 years, Bravo sold a certain look. All of a sudden, yesterday, an assistant layout guy takes it upon himself to change it. Sam Fowler, the assistant layout person. So, uh, what's your opinion? Exactly of what? The new look in my old magazine, courtesy Mr. Fowler. It's different. That's for sure. Oh, mama, bring them home. Candies, cause once you pour them, you can't ignore them. Skittles bites us candies, taste a rainbow of fruit flavors. Mama, won't you bring those Skittles home? Reintroducing Kellogg's Rice Krispies, now with more energy releasing B vitamins than ever. Part of a good breakfast that can help get you going. Excuse me. Rice Krispies with more B vitamins, it can help give you some get up and go. Oh boy. Rice Krispies with more B vitamins. If you need a little snap, crackle, pop in your morning. Aha! Oh, for crying out loud. Ugh, there's nothing worse than stepping into the shower and finding yourself surrounded by smelly, rotten, mildew. P.U. So what's a body to do? Wipe it out fast with X-14 Instant Mildew Stain Remover. X-14 has one-third more mildew fighter than Tylex. So X-14 wipes out smelly, rotten mildew stains faster than Tylex, even that ugly black stuff, and returns your shower to its clean, shining self in minutes. Mildew in the bath? Exit out fast with X-14 Instant Mildew Remover. Like many other well-proportioned Hollywood hard bodies, I have designed my own spa and fitness program. <laughs> For starters, I suggest the drinking of Diet A&W Root Beer. It's got just one calorie and a great new taste. Then I advise that you combine your rich and creamy Diet A&W with a program of sensible exercise, but not at the same time. Pour yourself a Diet A&W, now with 100% NutraSweet. This asthma attack didn't have to be this bad. At the first sign of an attack, take Primatine tablets. Primatine opens clogged breathing tubes during occasional attacks, helps restore free breathing for hours. Primatine tablets contain the asthma reliever doctors recommend most. I just want to get this over with. You will, you will. Now, look, I just want you to calm down, all right? I'm sure your dad will be home any minute. Peter, what if I can't do this? You can. You can. Nikki, where are the pictures? Right here. Good, good. No, don't take them out. Not here. Why not? Well, Donna could walk in any minute. And this is between you and your father. Well, she's going to have to find out sooner or later. Yes. But you'll only deny it. I told you that. Oh, Vicky. Oh, Vicky, I don't want to hurt Donna either. But we both know this affair with John is going to come out in a matter of days. We've got to do our best to try to keep it within the family. How can she do this to Michael? Oh, I've been asking myself the same question. You could destroy him, Uncle Peter. No, it won't. Your dad's a survivor. And so am I. 
Hey, you are right about that. That's why you've got to tell him the truth. Tonight. Uncle Peter, I have to tell him tonight. If he finds out from someone else, it would hurt him so much more. Exactly. And just remind yourself, you're not doing this to hurt him, Vicky. You're doing it out of love. Victoria, I want to talk with you. Alone? Of course. Anything that you can tell your father, honey, you can tell me. So why don't you start talking? John, I'm going to ignore your insinuations because I know what a rough time you had in Vietnam. No, you don't. You don't know anything about it. You're right. I don't. And you don't know anything about me. I think the least you can do is give us the courtesy of hearing us out. Okay. Okay. Good. Come on down. All right. John is going to uh, hear our whole story, and then he's going to give us his final decision. Look, don't force it, Felicia. Come on, John. Sit down. Please. Please. Okay, Wally. Hmm? Where were we? Oh. Look, John, we've done some real good investigating, and we have found out that there are a lot of vet organizations that get no funding at all from the government. That's right, and they are legitimate. Better than that, they actually help these men. Right. For example, they help them with their careers, help them find jobs. Now, what we plan to do is do even more investigating until we find the really neediest group, and then we're going to give Kathleen's money to them. Yeah, well, you don't have to do anything, John. Just announce where the cash is going. See how simple it is? You think you can do it? I mean, we'd love for you to say yes. My brother set this up, didn't he? Your brother? Yeah, Michael Hudson and this guy about this tall, kind of blondish, real rich guy. Okay, very, very okay, rich. yes, yes, he did. So, so what? I mean, the important thing here are the veterans. And I know how strongly you feel about them, isn't that right? Right. I also understand that these men feel like the world has passed them by. Go on. Isn't it also true that you feel that no one understands you? Me? Isn't that why you stayed away for 20 years? Let's just say that I understand that kind of suffering. Then what better choice than you to present such a gift? You guys ever been accused of brainwashing? <laughs> All the time. Good, then... Then it's settled. Now, right? now, wait a minute. Wait oh, a minute. what now? Well, I don't have to wear one of those black ties, do well, I? Well, you can bring a white one. We'll paint it. And no tux. <laughs> no, I'll knit you a tux, John, please. And I'm not going to make a speech. Oh. <laughs> oh. I mean it. Sure. Okay. <laughs> no speech. Well, my worst enemy, my biggest competitor, couldn't have done better if they planted Fowler in here themselves. Hey, wait a minute. Maybe they did. What? Yeah, that would make sense. I mean, a very talented layout artist appears just suddenly from nowhere. You don't believe that? Well, it is very far-fetched, isn't it? I mean, all that talent out there and nobody knows it? You didn't know it. Well, I wasn't looking for it. Mac, I know this Aunt Fowler wasn't put here to damage Brava. Well, maybe not, but he did damage it. Are you sure? A lot of our advertisers are threatening to leave us. I know, maybe, maybe they won't. Uh, sorry to interrupt again, but the budget meeting's almost over, and I want to know if you'll be there. Oh, yes, thank you, I will. I better get back in there. Only nobody mentions a word foul. Certainly can't say my brother hasn't made an impression. Isn't any laughing matter, you know? I'm not laughing. Mac is furious. And I haven't told him the whole truth. I don't like this very much. Look, I don't like this any more than you do. Look, if this whole thing blows up, it's going to be Mac that gets hurt. If it blows up, everybody's going to be affected. Not as badly as Mac is. And here I'm the one that said that I was going to be perfectly honest with him. What are you saying? That it's my fault again? Look, I take full responsibility for what I have said and not said to Mac. But you and your brother back me into a corner. 
Hi, Mr. Corey's not here then? Don't you ever knock, Sam? I'm sorry. You're gonna be a lot sorrier unless you get your act together. Look, I know, Mitch, I know like that. Like out on the streets. Look, I goofed, okay? I made a mistake, I admitted it, and I said I was sorry. What do you want from me, a pound of flesh? Listen. Would you stop thinking about yourself all the time? There's a lot more at stake here than your inflated ego. Important news today. Kleenex Huggies Super Trim Diapers, making happy babies nationwide, from the coast of Maine to sunny California. Why? We're pleased to report Huggies Super Trim Diapers have gentle elastic waistbands and a Super Trim padding that absorbs wetness and holds it away. So Super Trim helps stop leaking. This just in, Super Trim now available in the new jumbo pack. So tonight, it's happy news from Huggies. Introducing a new kind of antiperspirant shape to glide along your shape. A new crystal clear antiperspirant. Presenting new glide on, only from Arid. Not a thick, crumbly stick, not a drippy roll on, but a new clear, clean formula that glides on. Just turn up the amount you need for effective Arid protection, so you can get a little closer. New Arid glide on, clear Arid protection that glides on. Raisin Crisp, big crispy flakes made with real oatmeal, raisins, and bits of almonds. And that's what we've done to oatmeal. I can't believe my eyes are crispy new surprise for a whole new taste and feel. Look what they've done to oatmeal. Honey, this expensive brief fits like it's Junior's. Too tight? Oh, yeah. Oh, don't get up tight. The, the fruit, fruit of the loom kind. What instant relief from the uncomfortable brief. Introducing our all new brief. It's full cut. From a new pre-shrunk cotton fabric. To fit better than ever. With a new super strong waistband. And a new lower price. Great prescription, guys. Try better fitting, better priced Fruit of the Loom. Now save up to $4 on future purchases of Fruit of the Loom. Details at stores. Uh, you know if, uh, Mr. Fowler's in, Julia? I saw him leave his office a few minutes ago. Oh. Good afternoon, Mr. Corey. Well, well, Miss Ashton. Didn't see you standing there. <laughs> you taking a break? No, things are just a little slow. Uh-huh. Well, they'll pick up, Miss Ashton. They'll pick up. Are you bored to death, darling? No. It's just whenever you're a member of the floating secretary group, you tend to learn to float a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you learning anything? How to tread water. Now, you see, that wouldn't happen at Radcliffe. Dad, I'm very happy here, Mr. Corey. Thank you for asking. Very well, Miss Ashton. Just keep treading water. Good luck. <laughs> hey, what was so interesting on this bulletin board? Oh, nothing, really. I just think it's crazy some of the stuff people try to sell. Mm. I mean, like, 100 pounds of rice? <laughs> Where does the secretary get 100 pounds of I rice? I don't know, maybe she uh, <laughs> sweeps up after wedding receptions. Uh-huh. I never thought of that one. Hey, look, we need a runner in layout. I'm a floater, not a runner. Well, it doesn't hurt to learn a new skill. No, I want to stay close to my dad. That's where I think I'll really learn the business. But running layout couldn't be such a bad deal. I mean, you can discover all sorts of new things. I wonder if Sam Fowler ever got another job. So, you finally got here. What? What are you looking at me for? Well, I thought you were the one... Look, we've got 12 cars lined up waiting for us. Just park the thing, okay? Look, I hate to be the one to tell you this. Don't tell me anything. Just park the car down by the stable. Now. Okay. Sorry. Wait a minute. We're supposed to wear these. Whatever you say, boss. you aren't interested in him. Well, I'm not. Not really. This thing is kind of strange. Most people would leave an address when they left the job. You mean you called the parking valet service? Well, I had some time to kill. I bet. Anyway, I have to concentrate on my job here. You know, 
Maybe it was meant to be. Fate. Julianne, he could be right under our noses. <laughs> There's a lot at stake here. Do you think I don't know that? It's not just a job. I'm talking about the Corys, a family. We've been messing around with them. Look, Mrs. Corey, I don't want to mess with anybody. For one thing, I don't want to see Rachel get hurt. I don't want Mac hurt either. Well, as far as he's concerned, I've done enough myself. Wait a minute. Are we talking about you or me? You and I are the same member in this. We have a responsibility. Okay, okay. So what do you want me to do? Just don't make any waves. All right. What else? Nothing. Nothing until I work this mess out with Mac. Is there anything that I can do? This is between Mac and me. Look, I don't want to hurt anybody, Mitch. I know that. I need to get back to work. Look, I just want people to see my work. That's all I want. Just get Mac's approval first. Because I'm good, man. I am good. And everybody's gonna know it too. Sam Fowler is good. Victoria, you can talk to me. I want to know what's upsetting you like this. All right, Donna. You want to know? It's you. The way you treat my father, it makes me sick. What are you talking about? I love your father. Then why are you doing this? Doing what? Letting him take the pressure. Victoria, what do you mean? Do you know what he's going through? Well, yes, I think so. Then why have you just abandoned him? Honey, I haven't abandoned him. What would you call it? Well, honestly, I, I don't know that much about his business or understand Well, then it. you should learn. You go shopping or go to the beach, and he's going through hell. You don't care. I do care. Then why don't you do something? Well, I would if I could. You know, don't you ever get sick and tired of being so weak? All right, Victoria. What is it that you want from me? Honesty. I would do anything on this earth to keep Michael from being unhappy. I doubt it. Don't speak to me that way. I can speak to you any way I want. I am your mother. And Michael is my father. That's why I'm not going to stand around and watch you walk all over him. Now, you stop it. I do love him. Do you hear me? And I appreciate him. He is the most wonderful man I have ever known. Well, what exactly do you mean by wonderful, Donna? What is it that you appreciate in a man? Am I interrupting something? Now, the fullest, thickest, fluffiest softness of any fabric softener. Introducing new Downy, the most softness ever. Our things are plenty soft. This is softness so fluffy you can see the difference. Downy towels fluff higher. New Downy softens best. Fluffy. New Downy, the fullest, thickest, fluffiest softness ever. Mmm, much softer. Mm-hmm. Smells good. April Fresh, the fluffiest softness of any fabric softener. New, brand new Downy. Daddy, the dishes. Okay, Mom. Now, or unglue them later. Okay, Mom. Theodore in this lifetime. And get them so clean they shine. Shine? With this long? Joy's the name, and shine's the game. Ready, Teddy? But this is dried egg. Teddy, Joy attacks even dried on egg and cleans all the way to the shine. The gunk's gone. And catch that shine. What a lemon lie. <laughs> lemon Fresh Joy gets dishes so clean they shine. He's like one of my children. I would do the same thing for my children. I would, you know, pick out what's best for them. Pets become very, very important parts of our lives. And I think we would do just about anything for Charlie. He gets what he wants. That's why he gets Calcan. I like the meaningness. I like the texture. I like the gravy. Charlie gets lost in a bowl of Calcan all the time. It's not the only cat food we've tried. It was not the first cat food we tried. But I think it's the last cat food that we'll try. More and more cat owners tell us their cats prefer Calcan.
everyone knows, one picture's worth a thousand dollars. Win, lose, or draw. A fun new game show premiering Monday. It's easy to make it, hard to resist. Eagle Brand. Make desserts that are so hard to resist. With Eagle Brand. Doesn't get much better than this. Eagle Brand is the all-natural blend of fresh whole milk and sugar. It's the key to making desserts like magic cookie bars, easy to make and hard to resist. Can't miss. Ooh, what bliss. It's easy to make it hard to resist. Eagle Brand. Probably the thing that would describe Bounce to me would be outdoors. It smells like snow when it's just falling. And you're in it, bouncing, clean, fresh. When you wake up in the morning and there's dew on the ground and you smell that smell, that's what bounces. Outdoor fresh bounce. Yeah. I think it smells like the blue sky. Yeah, I think it's just... Celebrating a tradition of family savings on our 30th anniversary. Hills has a big selection of coats and jackets for the entire family. And just one dollar down lays away any coat or jacket. Looking for the latest style? Hills has lots of them. One of the biggest selections around. Price low every day. And just one dollar down lays away any coat or jacket at Hills. We're a different kind of department store. You want to be shopping Hills. Derek's scheme to pick up girls lets Rick down. Today at 4.30 on Silver Spoons. We were just discussing men. Victoria. That was a private conversation. Oh, come on, Donna. Uncle John's family. Why don't you tell him what I just asked you? I think he heard. Did you? Yes. Well, wouldn't you be interested in knowing what Donna likes in a man? Are you all right, Vicky? Why, do I not seem all right? No, you seem upset. Not at all. I'm just curious. John, um, this is between Victoria and me. No. Why don't you stay? Maybe you can help Donna answer my question. What's the point? I'm just interested, that's all. You two are a different generation. Let's just take an example. How about you, Uncle John? Now, Donna, would a woman like you find Uncle John attractive? I wish you wouldn't do this. Do what? If anything, it's a compliment. I, Bridget tells me all the time that you have women falling all over you. Bridget is wrong. Come on, Uncle John, admit it. Women find you irresistible. Stop it, Vicky. What am I doing? I just want to know I if... think you know. I'm just making conversation. I don't know why everyone's so stressed out. Say what's on your mind. No. I guess Donna doesn't want me to. John, I would like to talk to Victoria alone, please. What if Uncle John wants to hear your answer? John? All right, Victoria, say it. Say exactly what's on your mind. It was simply a one-time thing, a misunderstanding with an assistant layout editor. Oh, and by the way, Chuck, I really enjoyed your perfume campaign. The uh, response at this end was simply terrific. I'll uh, try to get to New York soon. Maybe we can grab a court and get in a couple of sets. Yours truly, etc., etc. Please take care with the punctuation, Julianne. Get it out as soon as you can. It'll be out on the next mail pickup. Thank you. I hope you get paid for the punctuation, Julianne. Absolutely. She gets so much for commas and big bucks for semicolons. <laughs> oh, you're getting cranky. Mr. Corey, never. She gets paid for that, too. And don't you spoil my staff. I'm your staff, and I'm not spoiled. Rotten, rotten! You spoil rotten! <laughs> mm -hmm. um, uh, mm, time mm -hmm. for the editorial meeting. Mm -hmm. All right, you say so. Sorry. Let's see. Ah! Miss Ashton. Miss Ashton floats from office to office. Someday she may touch down. With any luck at all on a college campus. We'll see you later. And I gotta talk to some people. I'll meet oh. you at the meeting. Okay. <laughs> well, they're in a good mood. I can't believe it. It's been chaos around here. Well, they like working together. And in case you haven't noticed, they're in love. Must be nice working with the person you love. Well, I wouldn't know. Have you given any more thought to the runner's position and layout? 
I'm doing fine, Julianne. In fact, I have a very important assignment. I'm taking notes at the editorial meeting. Great. Well, it's a start. I'll let you know how it goes. I can hardly wait. It's Julianne, Betty. Can you pass me on to Carla in personnel? Thanks. Carla. Julianne. Um, I just wanted to know about the runner's position and layout. I have a name to put on the list. Mandy Ashton. Look, I surrender, okay? You should see all the calls Max's getting from the advertisers. I didn't realize it was so conservative. Well, you better realize it. Look, is there any chance at all this is going to blow over? I hope so, for your sake. What are you working on? Uh... Why are you hiding it? I'm not. It's just some ideas. Can I see it? Please? This is a new banner for Bravo. It's just an idea. Are you out of your mind? You came this close to getting fired Look, for something like this, and now you're doing this? I wasn't going to do anything with it until Mr. Corey saw it. He'd probably scrap it anyway. So what do you think? It's interesting. Good? It's better than that. It's very good. It's very good. Oh, I was wondering where you were. What? You're happy? The first response from our readers. On the, on the format change? Much, much more original. Much easier to read. No other magazine like it. All right. <laughs> oh, great. I can't believe it. When our advertisers see the response from our readers, they're going to beat a path to our door. And you, you are the one who discovered his talent. We have succeeded in taking success right out of the jaws of disaster. I know that sounds a little melodramatic, but I don't care. We're a success. <laughs> We're a smash. <laughs> What on earth is this? Introducing Quackers, little ducks with a lot of flavor. So now, all the cheddar cheese flavor of a cheddar cheese puff is in a little duck. And all the sour cream and onion flavor of a sour cream and onion chip is also in a little duck. New flavor-coated quackers in sour cream and onion, crispy original and cheddar. A lot of flavor in a little duck. This is a liquid bleach. And this is a bright pink. I thought that might get your attention. But don't worry. This is a whole new liquid bleach. New liquid Clorox, too. It's a non-chlorine bleach, so it's perfectly safe to pour on all your washable colors and get results that are absolutely striking. What's more, new liquid Clorox 2 is also powerful enough to beautifully whiten whites. Try new liquid Clorox 2. Pour it on. Did you know hair looks fuller? If you dry it upside down. Salon Secrets from Germac. Adding volume. Germac's hair care experts know you don't have to live with fine hair. Just use Nutribody shampoo and conditioner. They're professionally formulated with special bodybuilding proteins. You know, you don't have to wish for lush, fuller hair. You can have it with Nutribody. Germac Salon Secret for adding volume. My secret? Brush upside down. It works, too. He's a classic detective in a changing world. I don't know if I can play by the rules anymore. Now he's changing the rules. September 13th, Private Eye. Live from Atlantic City, who will win the most spectacular Miss America pageant ever? You're invited Saturday, September 19th. You are acting like you're keeping some kind of terrible secret. Now, whatever it is, I want to know. I am your mother. Victoria, if something is hurting you, at least let me try and help. Vicki, would you please, please tell me? This has something to do with Michael, doesn't it? Victoria! Can't we all just love each other? What happened? John, she knows. I don't know how, but somehow she knows. About us? 
Did yeah. she say that? Well, no, but, but I think it's obvious. I mean, what else would be upsetting her so much? Somebody's going to have to straighten her out. How? Well, since you seem to feel that there never was anything between us in the first place, you shouldn't have any trouble convincing her of that. I don't know how to approach her. Donna, Vicky loves you. And you love her. You'll be able to handle it. I gotta get to work. John, wait a minute. Um, Michael called. He wants me to rent a tux for you. Why? For Felicia's gala. When you present the check to the veterans group. Well, he is awfully sure of himself, isn't he? No, I think he was more sure of Felicia. And something else. He wants you to go with us. What? He thinks it would be very nice for all of us to go together. <laughs> well, that sounds like a hell of a good time. I'll pass. Well, what am I supposed to tell him? What? Tell him no. He's not going to accept that. And you'll think of something. John, John, he wants us all to go together. Now, he is not going to understand you saying no. Well, since when are we a threesome? Look, I don't like this any better than you do. Excuse me, Miss Donna, but Miss Faulkner, she came back again. I am so sorry to impose. Oh, golly, and look at the time. Hello, Mr. Hudson. Mr. Hudson is my brother. Call me John. Jane, uh, what happened? Well, my car won't start, and, and, and I haven't even gotten to the bank yet. My schedule has just never been this disorganized. May I please use your phone to call a cab, Mrs. Hudson? Yes, yes, of course. Uh, so, uh, I'll give you a lift. You will? Sure. I'm on my way to work anyway. I'll... Uh, well, are you sure it's not an imposition? It's not a problem at all. I'll get the car. I'll meet you out front. Oh. Golly, what a nice person. Yes. Yes, he is. Well, I guess then that I will meet him outside. Uh, uh, Jane, uh, wait a minute. Have you ever been to a gala before? No. No, Dad, she hasn't done it yet. But she will. Vicky will show him as soon as she sees Michael. All right, now, Dad, don't worry. I will. All right, all right, goodbye. Peter, love, stay right there. Don't move. <laughs> Felicia, I'm in a bit of a rush. Uh... Good. Well, I'll talk very fast and very sweet. I'm sure you've heard of the Kathleen McKinnon Memorial Fund. Yes, I have. Good. When can we expect your contribution? <laughs> well, I, uh... Tomorrow would be fine. I'll look into it. Good. I will call you in the morning. Fine. I've been thinking about this charity and the fund. Yeah, I mean, there isn't a problem. I mean, we haven't forgotten anything, do you think? No, I just think it might be a good idea if you consulted with a lawyer. Cass is a lawyer. I know that. Hey. And we have high, a first-class accountant. I mean, honest to a fault, and, well, we're off and running. As long as you're sure that it's all on the up and up. Now, wait a minute, what's that supposed to mean? Do you really think I'd let anything go on in Kathleen's name that wasn't handled properly? Oh, you him. Yeah, he's right here. Hold on. Mitch. Mitch, it's some camera repair guy for you. Thanks, Wally. Well, let me see. I don't want to miss anyone. Uh, let me check on new arrivals. All right? Wally. How long have you known Mitch Blake? About as long as Felicia has. You like him? Yeah, I kind of do. You know, he's nuts about Felicia. He better be, because if he hurts her, I'll kill him.
But I'm not going to ask you what's the matter, because I know you're going to tell me at the right time. I'm okay, Bridget, really. Then why do you look as though your heart is broken? Hmm? You know, I remember. What was her name? Simon? No, it was Jessica. I remember the day she said to you, I don't need you anymore. I've got my own new best friend now. What made you think of that? Because you were only six years old. And you look the same way then as you look to me today. I was seven. So you remember, do you? I wouldn't leave the house for two days. It was three days. Yeah. <laughs> then you finally forced me out the front door. I felt so sorry for you, dear. I wanted to help you. I really did. But you see, I couldn't. You had to stand up to Jessica by yourself. Remember the day you told her off, remember? <laughs> oh, did you tell her off? Oh, my dear, I was so proud of you. <laughs> I love you so much, Bridget. <laughs> oh, my dear, I love you too. Hiya. I brought you up since you were a pup. <laughs> yeah, all by yourself. <laughs> well. Now you've got a real family. You know, you're my family too, Bridget. Oh, I... But you've got a wonderful father. Oh, no, mind you, I'm not saying that your mother's not nice, but... You know, ever since you were a little girl, I always felt that you should have, like, a strong male influence. And I couldn't have picked a better one for you. And Mr. Michael Hudson, eh? Huh? Bridget. Do you think Michael's happy? Well, why wouldn't he be, dear? I mean, he's got everything in the world. And a wonderful wife and a devoted family. And, hmm? I love him so much. You know, sometimes I feel like I'm letting him down. I don't know what to do, you know. If I ever hurt him... Victoria, what is it, dear? Tell me. Tell me, now, what's the trouble, dear? What is it? It's nothing, Bridget. I'm just restless, I guess. But, darling, then maybe you should be getting out a bit more. What do you think about that? Huh? Where would I go? Um, I don't even have a car. Maybe we can do something about that. What do you mean? Well, I, uh, I have an idea. Victoria? Victoria? Don't you even want to hear my idea? My new tub made of fiberglass was installed by men made mostly of dirt. Using a liquid cleanser? I guess I have to. Bet you'd like to use Comet. I love to use Comet. But see this label? Mm -hmm. Abrasives may scratch. But this label says safe as a liquid. I wouldn't bet on it. I would. Today's Comet has no harsh abrasives, so it's safe, it's tough. It's beautiful. Today's Comet, regular or new lemon fresh. Safe as a liquid, tough as Comet. You mean this isn't for my mother? This is for me? Did a teenager invent this? Announcing Always Slender, the thin maxi for teens. Wait till you see it! I can wear it with shorts and no one will know? Nobody? Always Slender is shorter and slimmer. Terrific! And the special dry weave covering means it's clean dry protection. Really terrific. A teen size maxi. It's about time. The terrific new maxi called Always Slender. It's just for teens. See what we've done for you! Thank you. I don't intend to grow gracefully. I intend to fight it every step of the way. Oil of Olay. This is the year I turn 30. Again. Penetrating quickly, assuming the function of the natural fluid you lose as you age. The big 3-0 is no big deal. I've been there. A few times. 
helping maintain fullness and softness, making your skin look younger. I love being 30-ish and looking 20-something. It's just, I mean, it's, it's just some doodling. I'm, I didn't mean to criticize a Brava cover. Oh, no, of course not. Furthest thing from your mind. I'll think about it. You will? Now, what else have you got to show me? What else? Mm-hmm. Uh, show him. Show him your work. Okay. Uh, these are some ideas that I've been toying with. You're designing a new magazine. Look, if you want it, you've got it. Do you? Maybe, maybe a new magazine, but the same old editor. Have you got that? So, how did the note-taking session go? We're doing it in ships. I'm on a break. Mm. These people carry on conversations in numbers. It's incredible. <laughs> My mind stopped functioning half an hour ago. Well, maybe you need a job that involves physical exercise. Why, is Jane Fonda looking for a new instructor? No, but uh, have you given any more thought to the runner's position and layout? Will you get off of that? You'd like it. Oh, right. Running all around this building, picking things up and dropping them off. What's to like? <laughs> you might be surprised. In fact, I think I got the list from personnel about the runner job. Oh, what do you have to do to qualify? Run the 100-yard dash in 10 <laughs> seconds? <laughs> Your name's on it. What? Let me see that. Right there, Mandy Ashton. Oh, I don't believe this. And you can't do anything about it. Great. By the way, I hear the guy in layout is a real tiger. Might need some uh, taming. <laughs> well, I hope you like the dress I picked out for you. I've never worn a dress like that. Well, I thought it would compliment you nicely. <laughs> you want that lift? Um, John, I had a wonderful idea. What? Jane has agreed to go to the gala with you. Oh, only if you want me to, Mr. Hudson. Maybe, maybe he doesn't want me to. Uh, yeah, sure, sure I do. Jane, what do you say we go to that old gala together? Well, I'd like that very much. Well, great. So would I. Thank you. For everything. Shall we go? <laughs> John. You should be real proud of yourself for engineering this one. What if I had hurt her feelings? I knew you wouldn't. You know, she seems like a real nice girl. You could learn something from her. You're a woman. You're a gynecologist. What would you take for menstrual cramps? Not Tylenol. Trendar. Seven out of ten women gynecologists would choose Trendar's medicine over Tylenol. Trendar works at the site of pain to calm uterine cramps. Trendar. Heartburn again. Yeah, yeah. You're going to sit there and suffer. You're going to take something. What do you have? Riopan Plus 2. It's double strength. Well, I hope it works fast. How fast can you get to the medicine cabinet? In lab tests, Riopan Plus 2 starts neutralizing acid in 10 seconds. And one teaspoon neutralizes more acid than two teaspoons of regular Maalox or Mylanta. That's twice as strong. You look better. You want to go out for a banana split? I'm <laughs> kidding. Riopan Plus 2. The fast antacid. It's the way you should be. Keep it simple and set yourself free from the extra that you really don't need. Just try OB and we'll see. OB tampons are rolled in layers for the most reliable protection you can get. So set yourself free. OB, it's the way you should be. Just try OB and we'll see. Keep
Keep it simple and set yourself free with OB tampons. Good as you did in high school. But did you stop eating? No, I stopped cheating. Cheating? On my diet. I got so hungry towards the end of the day, I couldn't stop eating. But Accutrim helped. Accutrim? Only Accutrim has the unique 16-hour precision release tablet. And Accutrim helps control your appetite all day. So from 3 p.m. till bedtime, the cheating hours, Accutrim is still working. She didn't stop eating. She stopped cheating. Accutrim. It helps you beat the cheating hours. I had this big, ugly wart on the tip of my finger. Anna tried Improved Compound W. Used daily, it dissolves warts away quickly in just days. Prevents spreading, too. I don't have to be embarrassed anymore. Improved Compound W. You can't buy a stronger wart remover. Tonight, comedy starts with Bill Cosby on The Cosby Show. Then can Sandy Duncan kiss the bright lights of Broadway goodbye for love in the suburbs? It's the comedy special, Act Two. After that, thirsty for more comedy? Raise your glasses to cheers. Followed by Night Court. Guess who's becoming a judge? All rise for Judge Christina. Then it's the show everyone stays home for, L.A. Law. Hello, this is Michael Tucker, Stuart Markowitz of L.A. Law. Make a practice of watching L.A. Law tonight on NBC.